For our personal health advocacy videos, I wanted to put my television radio skills to the test. After learning about all of the different topics that apply to our personal health, the lessons that stuck out to me were relationships, existence, and goals. Throughout this video, I wanted to share my own interests and passion for a healthier society by giving examples that apply to my own life. Those looking at me would not necessarily know who I am, where I come from, or if I really do belong. This might come as a surprise for you, but I actually grew up in your average upstate New York Italian-American family. You know, the type where the week starts off with Sunday church, and then afterwards it seems like every relative within a 30-mile radius shows up for a never-ending meal of pasta, meatballs, and those delicious cannolis. Now, growing up in an Italian family certainly means eating some of the best food, always on the go because of the huge circle of family and friends, and there's even a tendency to overextend your schedule. Even though growing up, it always seemed like I was extremely busy, juggling all of the many activities my parents signed me up for, from sports to clubs and even modeling and acting, it also came with a lot of perks, a big one being that I always felt an overwhelming love for my large extended family. This is my comfort zone, and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's just the perfect fit. My Italian upbringing and the love that I experience all throughout my life has had a tremendous effect on me. You probably figured this out by now, but I'm not Italian. Sometimes I even forget this. I was actually born in Seoul, Korea and was internationally adopted at the age of six months old. Also, my name wasn't always Adrian Smith. In fact, my birth name was Hee Jung Yoon. As the story goes, I arrived in New York City on March 22, 1999, around six o'clock at night. I was greeted by my new parents, grandparents, and siblings. Waiting for me at my new home were dozens of cousins, aunts, uncles, and family friends. This was the start of my new life, the life that God has so graciously blessed me with. I don't remember a specific time in my life when I realized I was adopted. I guess I've just always known. It has never defined who I am, but in many ways has shaped me into the person I am today. It's actually been liberating because I'm not expected to be like anyone else in my family. I was forced to find myself without any generic guide or presumptions. I was exempt from the pressure of having expectations to live up to or a shadow to live under. I live my life without any hesitations. One of the qualities I pride myself in is being goal-driven. My birth parents made the ultimate sacrifice with the hope of giving me a better life because they didn't have the means to properly care for me. I was adopted into a totally different world, a world of great opportunity. If this weren't the case, I could have very well grown up receiving the benefits of other people's selfless giving. Instead, I am blessed with being able to make an impact on other people's lives. Whenever I set or accomplish a goal, I always think of how different things could have been had it not been for my adoption. I define this as my personal visualization, a way for me to foster my successes. Self-reflection on my adoption journey has pushed me to go the extra mile to accomplish a goal I set for myself and then work hard to do my best to achieve it. It's difficult to imagine my life any other way without my parents, brothers, extended family, and my true lifelong friends. My adoption has made me live life on faith, hope, and love. It helps shape me who I am today, and I know that it's going to lead me on whatever path life takes me on. In our culture, sometimes adoption is looked at as second best and unwanted, as almost having a negative stigma. But for me, my adoption has been nothing but positive and empowering, and I wouldn't change a thing.